Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and in today's video, I'm talking about Doge Chain. Doge Chain is one of the hottest new chains for DeFi, and in today's video, I'll share how to bridge your Doge over to Doge Chain, how to get started in Doge Chain DeFi, and why I decided to use DeFi on this ecosystem. I'll also go through the risks of Doge Chain because it's always important to take risk into account when doing anything in crypto or DeFi. If you like this sort of content, be sure to like this video and subscribe. And before I go any further, I want to remind you that nothing I say in this video is financial advice. Let's get into it. First, what exactly is Doge Chain? Basically, Doge Chain is a new blockchain that launched within the past few weeks that's Ethereum compatible and uses wrapped Doge for transaction fees. So Ethereum compatible basically means that any application that's deployed on Ethereum can be redeployed on Doge Chain. And using wrapped Doge as its currency means, of course, that Doge is bridged over to Doge Chain and then you use Doge to pay for things. And so what this means is that you can have all of the things that we love about cryptocurrency, NFTs, games, DeFi, all built around Doge. And we know how popular dog coins, meme coins are. As the Doge chain website puts it, OMG Doge, much useful now. Very, very eloquent. This Doge chain launch last week was pretty insane. There was actually one point where five different tokens were launching every single minute. Literally thousands of tokens launched on Doge chain within the first few days. Most of them were garbage. Most of them, to be completely honest, were rug pulls. However, it was pretty remarkable to watch and you did see a good amount of money flowing into the Doge chain ecosystem. Uh, so how exactly do you bridge to Doge chain if you're interested? Well, the first thing that you'll need to do, of course, is acquire some Doge. There's a lot of places you can do this. Pretty much all major exchanges have Doge on them at this point. Personally, I use KuCoin, link in the description, to get a discount on fees. And I've used KuCoin for a long time. Once you've done that, you'll need to connect your MetaMask wallet to Doge Chain. To do that, the easiest place to go to is chainlist.org. Then you can type in Doge Chain on the network search. You'll be prompted to connect your wallet. And then you will click here to add it to your MetaMask. And that just clicking that button will add Doge Chain to your MetaMask. And you are now ready to bridge. Next place that you'll go is to bridge.dogechain.dog slash bridge. Link in the description as well. You're depositing, so you'll go to deposit, of course. And you can see here that there is already 258 million Doge on chain. So you are going from Dogecoin to Doge Chain, and you will connect your MetaMask wallet here. Once you connected your wallet, you will see the option to confirm your address to send Dogecoin to. So you click on confirm, and then it will give you this Dogecoin address. And so this is the address specific to your account. You have to deposit at least 100 Doge. Any deposits lower than 100 Doge will be lost. So you send your Doge to this, and then for me, it only took about 10 minutes for it to appear on my MetaMask as wrapped Doge. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that the withdraw can take up to seven days. So you won't be able to easily withdraw right away back to Dogecoin. There are some other Ethereum bridges like multi-chain right now, but if you want to withdraw your Doge directly, it will take you about seven days. And that is how to bridge to Doge chain. It's actually relatively simple. So how do you get started in Doge Chain DeFi and why exactly did I decide to go into this ecosystem myself? Well, the first place that you're going to want to go is to DeFi Llama, DeFiLlama.com slash chain slash Doge Chain. And you can see here that there is already about $10 million locked in the first week that this chain has been active. And given that we're in a bear market, that's actually quite impressive. And this, by the way, does not include every single DeFi application that's on Doge Chain. So, why am I showing you this? Because you can go here and you can see most of the DeFi applications on Doge Chain. You can see whether they're growing. You can see how fast they're growing. And this is always a good place to start when you're doing your research to find new DeFi applications on the chain. This isn't enough to decide what to invest in, but it can tell you which protocols are available for you to investigate. 
One other protocol that I personally like is QuickSwap. So QuickSwap is one of the leading DEXs on Polygon. It's the leading native Polygon DEX, and they actually redeployed to Doge Chain. They're still on Polygon, of course, but they're now also on Doge Chain. Within the past few days, the website is dogechain.quickswap.exchange, and you can see here that their farms are quite nice right now. They have 141% APR on USDC Doge. They have 239% APR on USDC ETH and 223% APR on Doge and Matic. So definitely, definitely a fan of these farms, especially if you like Doge. And so why exactly did I decide to bridge to Doge, right? Because on this channel, I usually cover more serious types of projects and I do like serious DeFi projects. However, I also like making money. And if you look at the top coins by market cap, you can see that Dogecoin is the 10th largest coin by market cap. Shiba Inu, which is another dog meme coin, is not even affiliated with Dogechain, is rank 12. And so Dogecoin got to this insane market cap without really having that much you can do with it. You can send it to your friends, you can hold it on Robinhood or another exchange, but there's no real applications with Dogecoin. So my thought is that a lot of these people who hold it they might want to earn yield on it. They might want to use Dogecoin in various fun meme games. Who knows? There's all sorts of things that you can do with smart contracts that you can't just do with a payment network. And so I think that some of the pro coins or protocols on Dogechain will probably do well. I don't know which ones yet. I haven't even decided for myself. But because I think that some of the coins on Dogechain are going to do well, I am going to bridge to that chain and I'm going to test out the DeFi and try to come up with a hypothesis about what the leading protocols on this chain are. That being said, this is not without risk. First risk I already mentioned before is that it's tough to withdraw your money immediately. Although better options are coming up right now, you do have to wait a week. So that's important. Another risk is that right now the liquidity on the chain is not great. So if you send a lot of funds over and then you decide you want to convert to USDC, for example, you might have some serious slippage. And that's what I have to say about Doge Chain. If you enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.